How did I get down here? Oh, over here. I'm sure there's gravel somewhere. I really need to get, like, a soundtrack or something of, like, royalty-free music to just credit at the end of every episode, too. Just because, I don't know about you guys, but I think sitting here in, like, almost silence is kind of boring. And I think I just saw bedrock fog. And then it kind of, like, toggled away on me. So I've been over there. At least I know how I got down here, so... I should just mark it so I know exactly where the ladder is. There we go. Now there's bound to be some gravel around here somewhere. I hope. I do not know this for a fact, though. And that's the dangerous part. Well, I wouldn't really call it dangerous, but I'm going to end up wasting a lot of time walking around like an idiot if I have to go the whole way back to the beginning of the map to get some goddamn gravel. Which, that would be my luck. Hmm. follow this road that probably doesn't go to anywhere. Because I'm pretty sure I followed every single one of these roads last time. Chicken? I really don't want to have to, like, build up to the sky, though, because I'd have to take, like, an entire inventory of blocks with me to do that. Yeah, I've definitely been here. As obvious by the torch. So, map boundaries, and then there's ocean over here. Maybe... What? Brick? Well, I've been in here. So I don't know about you guys, but I just saw gunpowder on the floor. That brick just kind of distracted me. Well, the last time I went behind a wall of trees, I found what I believe was the edge of the map. But I want to follow it and see if it goes out into the water and stuff, too, so... Like I said, I'm running out of ideas on where to go at this point, but I'm missing, like, the two most difficult wools of any of the other maps. Yeah, up here's the, uh, edge of the map, as I assume it to be. Because this crazy little barrier goes the whole way around the map, as far as I've been able to see. Which, that is one hell of a wall of stone. This is dangerous. Okay. Suspicious sand is suspicious. I don't know. It just seemed really weird. It kept going down and down and down. Kind of like this is curving out and around. Um. Oh. I got so much crap in my inventory. I lost my piece of wood. Nope. Don't want zombie meat. Just gonna leave the workbench here. See, I'm assuming that's the edge of the map, but for some reason I'm having issues getting things to load now. Really, really large issues with getting things to load. I think it'd be really funny if this was like a volcano or something I was supposed to go in, but that just doesn't seem right. Oh. Ah! 
Oh. Well. I'm going to go out into the ocean a bit. I still need to fix that. If you don't see that little weird tiling issue going on with my texture pack. I was worried I was going to hit unloaded terrain there. You know, I should really just kind of keep an eye out for gravel, because as it currently stands, I'm just kind of boating around, not even paying attention. Speaking of boating around, an ocean this big, you'd think you could put a boat out here. I think that'd be pretty cool flavor. I don't know. Maybe I'm just out of my mind, thinking up random things. That would probably be useful in a regular Let's Play, but in this case... I'm trying to find wools, not building. So I've noticed that... I don't know. Maybe it's just my opinion. I seem to be really, really, really boring when it's just me. But the moment you add somebody else in, it... Like... It just... Uh, i completely different. I don't know. Maybe that's just my imagination. Maybe. But... I don't know, with the way Minecraft's multiplayer doesn't play nice with mobs and the fact that most of the people I know live, like, at least a quarter of the world away, it, uh, makes it really hard to play with them because they wouldn't exactly be able to have low ping. What is that? Oh. Bottom of the ocean that just still loading. I wonder how far this ocean extends, because if it goes from wall to wall of this map, that'd be interesting. Of course, I've only ever explored towards one wall, haven't I? So I don't even know if that's actually the whole way around the map. I could just be out of my mind. And it could be getting dark again. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if these videos are, like, too dark or anything whenever it's at nighttime. If it is the case, let me know, and I'll just turn up my brightness. But, I don't know. Cruising around in a boat. Boats make my fingers hurt from holding the W key. Cruising along, not seeing anything. Except for squid. Lots and lots of squid. Of course, it would be hard to see anything whenever half the map isn't loading, huh? Considered trying to put uh, Optifine in, but for some reason, every single time I've tried to use Optifine, at least the uh, multi core edition, it does really weird stuff. Like, sometimes I'll get weird glitching terrain. Like, if you turn on Advanced OpenGL, sometimes terrain just kind of randomly glitches out on you and you can see through it for a second. And I try to avoid anything that can be considered, like, cheating. Which, n before anybody says anything, no. I really don't consider the death stick cheating. It's kind of funny that I don't, but I don't. And is this ocean going to end? Is this map just like gigantic? Am I just on a never ending desert? What is going on here? This is getting a bit ridiculous. Hmm. You know, when I was recording these, I wasn't expecting it to be so goddamn boring. And I apologize for this. But I don't want to really skip anything, because you never know when I might run into something interesting. And I could just be silent and boat around and be like, I'll be back with you when I find something interesting. But, who knows? Maybe something interesting will come to my mind, and that'll be close enough to finding something interesting. Whoa! Whoa! Hello! And where might you go? There is a very large chance this map might be a lot bigger than I had previously anticipated. And 
at the rate I'm going, my chances of ever getting back to where... Wow. Wow. Do you guys see where we are? Wow. I didn't even know there was a dock at the beginning of this map. So, I should probably try and keep a bit more of an eye out for chests. But, I'm not seeing any. What? The one lone ice block. I will save you, ice block. You will cease to be ice. Thou hast been saved. Right. So. Continuing on our journey around the sand. Maybe I'll get lucky and reach another port town. Or maybe this ocean is one giant circle now. Hmm. I think I will just... Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to stop recording. I'm just going to stay in my boat where it's fairly safe. And I'll... What? Okay, I'm definitely in the middle of a lake at the moment. Stop recording, I'll be back with you when I find something interesting. Well, I more or less found something interesting. I'm guessing this is the, uh, the edge of this side of the map. Because, yeah, another giant stone wall. I have no idea how far I've actually made it away from the spawn. I've just been following the left shore the whole time. But I guess I will, uh run along here and see if I run into anything I haven't seen before. Very strange why it would seem like the walls of this place are so far out on this side, unless there's something that I'm missing. Very strange. Very strange indeed. So... I don't know if I ever told anybody this, but I hate clouds. The clouds in this game, I do not like them. Because once you get above a certain point, they're just annoying. Unless you build way above that point or way under that point. Because they have a tendency to just go through your buildings and ruin your awesome viewpoints. How have I not found anything? Shut up, Creeper. Sprint. Oh, my food bar's not full. Road under construction. Do I even want to know where that leads back to? Better question, am I ever going to find any gravel? Hmm. road? I don't recall a road that dead ends after turning to the left. Oh, wait. It's turning back to the right. Where am I, though? I'm sure I'll know once I get back to wherever it is I'm heading. Fence? Really? I'm back here? I am apparently a master of making circles. Just circling around. Well, I guess I will go find some of that gravel that I know for a fact is around here somewhere. Um, probably near the giant gaping hole in the ground that I left somewhere whenever Vex tried to blow me up. Took the foundation out from underneath that place. Uh, the other way, I think, right? I think. I think. I thinketh. I thinketh it is this wayeth. It 
That's right. Jump, throw, land. Threw it another way while jumping. So that way, but did it so I wouldn't lose my forward momentum for the direction that I was heading. Short, I was kind of cheaty. Oh, what? What? Is, why is there gravel on top of here? No? I found some gravel, that's always a plus. Now I just have to waste your time breaking it. Trying to get a flint. There's a flint. Um, do I still have any iron bars? That is the question. Do I know where the Victory Monument is? That is yet another question. Hmm. You know, if I actually had the iron to do it, I would just make rails and complete the entire railway that Vex decided to just explode out from under me. As you can tell, I'm getting really sick of the walking, mostly because of the amount of time it just wastes. But I refuse to cheat to give myself some rails to fix it myself. I will walk around like an idiot forever and ever if I never find it, because I do not want to look up where any of this stuff is, and I do not want to, uh... Yeah, I just do not want to cheat. I try my hardest not to. And... Wow. I have no iron? Hmm. I probably left it in a different chest or something. That's if I had any. I am going to make this stupid flint and steel, though. I am going to light that nether portal, and I am going to see if I just end up in a random nether. Oops. I'm going to cook a flint. Genius! Iron boots. Right, I have these diamond boots of completely retardedness. I'm going to put my iron boots in this chest. Along with pretty much all of those. Hmm. My pick is almost broken. Suppose I will make another one. And use the last of this for torches. Okay, I suppose I'm going to do another one of these little skippy segments where I just skip ahead to where I'm going to be because I made the walk a bunch of times and I've actually really died from the walk and the road is made of obsidian so I'm worried about the road exploding out from under me. So I will see you guys once we get back to where I built another portal, basically. So I'll be with you guys in just a minute. Not quite there yet, but I just wanted to come back and say something. Look what I found! I actually apparently left the things over here. And as I was putting those, emptying some stuff into the chest and whatnot, and looked at my boots, you know, I completely forgot about those. I can probably breathe underwater for probably like ever. I can f jump off of pretty much anything. I can mine underwater effectively, which I completely didn't even think about that when I was in the water inside that little hole. And, yeah, as for the efficiency and unbreaking, I don't think they actually work, but we. I could probably ride these rails until I fall off, and yes, I was just shot by a skeleton, and not have to worry about dying from the fall because of these, but I just thought I would say that, and uh, I'll be back with you real quick once again. Night is setting. We're almost here. And, uh, I'm going to do something I would have done last time had I realized about these boots that I just mentioned. 
I am going to knock out one of those blocks that I put in there. And instead of taking the ladder down, I'm just going to jump in. Why not, right? Which, I appear to be almost out of my chicken. Whee! Okay. A lot of creepers down here. Many creepers. Handle it. Handle it! Wee! Yeah, not much of a wee. I know. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to light this nether portal. Woo, nether portal. Okay, let's see, uh, let's see how badly I failed at looking for nether. Holy shit! Um. Hmm. This was rigged. Because I came out. Oh, shit. You guys know what that is? Because I know what that is. That's a ghast spawner. Whoa. And that's the bomb of the world. I need to be very, very careful in here. 